Hey guys, Eric here from worshipmanuniversity.com and today we're going to take a look at how to set up a worship template in Ableton Live. Now, uh, when you open up Ableton, this is basically the default setting that you're going to get. So what we're first going to do is get rid of some of the things that we do not need. We're going to click on Reverb over here and delete that, as well as Delay. Then over here we can see that we have two MIDI tracks and two audio tracks. We're going to get rid of one of the MIDI tracks. And for the first MIDI track over here, we are going to call this Click Only. For the audio track over here, we're going to call this Cues. And this one we're going to call our Loop. I'm then going to right click right next to here and insert an audio track. And we're going to rename that also for MP3. Now, uh, this is the basic setup that I use. I usually drag over the master because here's where all of our songs are going to be dragged into. Um, all our titles, all our beats per minute, and time signatures. So I like to have that big so I can read those pretty easily. Over here, we got to make sure we set these up the correct way so that it'll send from the computer out to the mixing board. So for click only, this is actually a MIDI track that we are going to mute by clicking on the one over here, turning it from yellow to the gray. Uh, basically, we're going to insert a MIDI track into here to kind of trick the computer into playing a click when we want it to. We'll talk about that more in the next lesson, but for now we're just going to have that muted. For our cues, what we need to make sure is that our audio 2, or basically where the computer is sending this audio track, we're going to click under here to master to EXT out, and we're going to change it to number 1. For our loop, we're going to do the same thing, audio 2, we're going to send that to EXT out, to number two. Basically this is going to split up our tracks so that our uh, chord that's coming out of the computer can be split to left and right into two direct boxes which can go to your board and be put under two different channels so that the cues won't go out in the house mix that the, uh, the mixing guy can turn those off and we can still hear them in our ears and the loop can also be heard outside in the congregation. For our mp3 we're going to mute this as well too by clicking on the four turning it from yellow to gray. Basically, I drag in the MP3s of the songs that we're working on into here, so during practice or something like that, we can kind of use them as a reference point. You don't really need this, but I think it's a little more thorough, and it just helps you when you do need a song. What we also want to do, too, is on the right over here, there says Q out. We are going to click on that and put that onto number one, because uh, any of the clicks that are in Ableton uh, will come out the same channel as the cues, so that it'll be just in our ear. So to turn that on as well, we're going to go up here to the left, and there's two little circles here that I'm going to click on and make them yellow. That's going to turn the metronome on in our Ableton session. It's a built-in metronome. Uh, you can create your own metronomes and things like that, but the sound that they have in Ableton and just the simplicity to use it is actually really good, so I pretty much just use that 90% of the time. One other thing we want to do is go up to View and go down to Overview. What that's going to do is up here on the top is going to create these couple lines that go across here. And what this is going to do is it's going to enable us to fast forward or rewind during our track. So if we're playing a track over here, um, it's when we stop it, it automatically goes back to the beginning of the track. But in case you want to start in the middle of the song or skip ahead, this will be able to let us do that. So this is a really cool feature that a lot of people don't really know about. So now that we have this set up, in our next lesson, we're going to talk about how to build a worship set. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll see you in the next lesson.